The birthplace of democracy, beginnings of philosophy, interesting subjects like geometry, western medicine and the Olympic Games. What interesting place could this really be? You guessed it right, at the Greek side of the world, teams like Orbex have set their eyes on a great location this week witnessing a beautiful GA floating in the skies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hangar Talk series, a subset of the channel where we focus on what's best in the world of add-ons, beware or freeware, we cover them all. So please hit that subscribe button as it can greatly help us. Two add-ons today. A gateway to the Greek island released this week plus a GA aircraft from BR Sim Designs. The Bonanza H35, a new model from the studios of BR Sim Designs, known for its iconic tail with an infamous reputation as the Dr. Killer, the team have worked on recently producing this. With the Greek island airport in the background, ideally makes it the right companion for we are far flying. We'll go over this airport shortly, there's a lot to showcase in this island. Now the Beechcraft Bonanza is an American GA aircraft that first came in 1957 by Beach Aircraft Corporation. A six-seater engine aircraft that's still being produced by Beechcraft with more than 17,000 of all Bonanza variants have been built. But this particular model had 464 units so far. Not just the V-tail configuration, conventional tail variants as well have been a part of the fleet. With 120 gallon capacity or say 450 liters, this should be an ideal companion for day trips. A well integrated cockpit observing the overhead area with the floodlight switches, passenger floodlight switch and the shades. Towards the actual cockpit, we can observe plenty of instruments which have been functional and responsive throughout. If you look at the top row, it consists of the thermometer or the OAT, hour meter, airspeed indicator, altimeter, compass to the GPS. The center row consists of the turn and slip indicator, heading compass, vertical speed indicator, oil pressure, temperature going all the way to the EGT. The bottom most row consists of indicators like the fuel quantity indicators, elevator trim indicator, cowl flaps flap handle to the switches panel. The left side consists of different indicators from the touchpad, co-pilot controls, baggage door to the fuel selector located at the bottom. The fuel transfer system is something to note as the aircraft has extra wingtip tanks where the fuel from these tanks can be transferred to the main tanks through two electric pumps. This doesn't have an option for all or both tanks and is ideal to keep in mind when switching the fuel selector to not shut off the engine. This comes with 8 liveries, the team have done a good job on the overall model of the plane. A very similar package to the previous release in our opinion in comparison to the conventional version of the tail, we ought to see the difference of the V tail which can really make a difference or not. A fully detailed interior and exterior model, realistic animation giving us an elegant aircraft. Let's take a good listen to the sound of the plane and take a little tour around the island. Performance wise, the flight responses felt great. While we fly in the area of the Greek island, let's look at how the airport has been produced and come back to the aircraft shortly. The Skiathos International Airport, mostly referred to as St. Martin of Europe, this has been a recent addition to the sim. Now, Warbix has been in the flight simming business for quite a while. Doesn't really need an introduction on what they do. They've been supporting other platforms extensively and with Microsoft Flight Simulator, this has been another great avenue for the team to be an advocate to the sim. A wide range of modern features with PBR textures which are used throughout the entire scenery, 
You definitely can't go wrong with aerial imagery as Orbex has a great team behind this and they make sure of updates throughout the airports as well as sceneries and when it comes to this airport, the resolution is great. The Skiathos Island is a great place. Custom buildings can be found throughout this island as well as the airport. This is the whole package which consists of the island and the airport. Landmarks, hotels, plenty of areas are filled and perfect for VFR flying. A highly detailed rendition of the airport with the latest set of imagery. It includes custom GSC and static aircraft, PBR textures and a lot more. This has been a great job from the team of Matteo Veneziani who's developed plenty of interesting projects at the sim. It's great to see so many GAs coming into the sim. We ought to wonder what's next in the world of flight simming. We definitely had fun flying this aircraft. And don't forget about the airport. Give this a try. Both the links of the aircraft and the airport can be found in the description below. We certainly hope you liked this video. Do hit that subscribe button. This can always help us. Until next time, do take care and happy flying folks.